I wanted to hop on and respond to someone's post that I saw in the group last night. Ryan Roy, this one is for you. Um, first of all, Ryan, thank you for being so vulnerable, for being so open, for sharing some of the frustrations that you're feeling right now. Um, any of you who did not see Ryan's post, he had shared that he has an ideal client or a niche market of freelancers and artists. That is really his passion. He wants to help those people and he voiced a frustration that it's been really challenging for him, really hard for him, uh, feeling as though he is gaining clients and able to sort of convert them into ongoing coaching, um, that he's feeling frustrated, that he knows that coaching is his calling and his passion, and that he has such a like amazing ability to make a profound impact in the lives of freelancers and artists. And so he is feeling a bit frustrated with why he's not able to convert them or what to do about it, right? Like, how can he change things? He's been working with a coach, um, feels like his marketing is better and still spinning his wheels. And I thought, gosh, so many of you can probably relate to this. It can be really hard to gain that traction, to nail your marketing, to nail your messaging. Um, and I just, I'm grateful to you, Ryan, for sort of voicing this and sharing this frustration um, so that everyone can hopefully learn a little bit from it. Um, so I was reading it last night. I was too tired to respond. And then this morning I woke up and it was still on my mind. And I thought it's always just easier for me to talk things through. So I'm just going to hop on and do a live video and sort of respond some of the thoughts that were going through my head as I was reading your post, Ryan. Um, so Ryan's ideal client is an artist or freelancer. And the immediate responses that I was see, say, or seeing, reading, um, was about like, oh, this is like a really tough you know, niche. It's a tough audience. These people don't really have a lot of money. It's gonna be hard to sell to them, hard to get them to make the investment. And I, I think like in some instances, yes, that's very true. There's a lot of artists and freelancers who are struggling, who are doing it very hobby style, um, maybe like, you know, are kind of like embodying that stereotype of the struggling artist. But there's also a lot of artists and freelancers who are very successful or could be very successful if only they had help figuring out how to price themselves, how to run their freelance business as a true business, that they actually really, really, really need those insights and the help because that isn't their natural skill, right? Their natural skill is in the creative realm. That's where they really are in their element. And it feels very foreign to them. Money feels very different, very challenging. It likely isn't something that they like very naturally embrace, which is exactly why they need a financial coach who can simplify things for them and give them the tried and true, proven, like easiest way for them to be successful with their money that can simplify something that feels like a very overwhelming or heavy topic for them and really give them the tools to be successful. So Ryan, my first thought is that, you know, I, I don't know what your marketing looks like. I'm not sure what language you're using while you're speaking to your ideal client, but I want you to embrace this idea that not all artists or freelancers are struggling, right? That they are true professionals at their craft, that many of them have the ability or can be or are, are on their way to being very successful at what they're doing and that we need to be speaking to them in marketing in that way, right? So there's a lot of freelancers and artists who make good money, but because of the fluctuating or variable nature of the way that they earn their income, 
they don't feel like it or they don't see that money very clearly. They oftentimes feel as though they're living in feast or famine where it's like they get a really good sale or a good gig and then they go for a period of time without any sales or without any new clients, depending on what type of freelancing they're doing. And so it feels very stressful, very reactionary to them, that they feel as though they're never going to have a consistent income. Um, I have clients right now that are artists and freelancers, and they felt that way when they came to me, and they now have very, very stable um, income as far as how they feel it in their bank account, right? So not always how they receive it, but how they feel it can feel very stable and consistent. And that's really what you want to be creating for artists or freelancers, anyone really who has a very fluctuating or variable income, is that through using really good money management systems, we can create the false sort of uh, idea that they have a consistent paycheck coming in, even though they really don't, right? And so I imagine that that's one of the things that you're helping these artists and freelancers with. And I wanted to sort of talk through maybe some ways that you can communicate that more clearly to them, some verbiage that you can be using, some of the pain points that you can be speaking to or the truths that you can be speaking to um, that might attract the ideal client, which is an artist or freelancer, who does have money coming in, right? So we're not speaking to those who are not really making any money or living at home with mom and dad or still trying to get started with it and they can't, they really truly at that point cannot afford to pay for a financial coach. I'm talking about the ones who do have active clients, active sales, they're working their craft as a true professional in that craft and they just still are experiencing that fluctuation that causes them to tailspin, that causes them to feel constantly in a state of reaction, and how you can maybe attract those people to you, because that is your ideal client, the one that actually has the potential to pay for coaching and can see the value in investing in this, learning this skill for themselves and getting the guidance and the accountability and the help and the system to help them with it, okay? So, like I said, they often are feeling as though they're living in feast or famine, so we wanna speak to why is it so important for an artist or freelancer to manage their money well, right? So in your marketing, you wanna talk about why this is actually a critical thing for them to learn and to be using and embodying in their business, in their life. So one, they need a money management system, they need to learn some better habits or systems around their money so that they can navigate those fluctuations much easier because the fluctuations are the nature of the job, right? It's the nature of their chosen profession is that they're going to have a variable income, but they have to learn how to manage their money well so that they can navigate that much more easily and there is a way to do that. So that's one thing that I think, Ryan, you definitely need to be driving home in any of your messaging, in your conversations with them, of that I know it seems hard to believe, but there are ways to take a highly variable income and make it feel much more steady and much more consistent. It does not always have to feel as though you're living in feast or famine. That is what I can help you with as a financial coach. Another thing is that they can really plan for slow seasons because there's going to be times where they're not having any art shows, let's say. And so it's going to be a slow season and they know that they're getting ready for their next show and like they're not earning income in the meantime. So once they have a much more clear plan for their money, they can plan and anticipate and be prepared for those slower systems and or slower seasons and not feel as though they are like having to live on ramen noodles and struggling and so stressed, you can help them get to a place where those months feel exactly the same as the months where they have a show and that they can truly feel more at ease. It's going to allow their creativity to flow more easily when they're not feeling super stressed about their money. They're gonna feel much more focused and productive. Um, so speaking to all of that is also like a huge benefit of working with a financial coach. They can learn to manage their money in a way that makes it feel as though they're getting a consistent paycheck, even though they aren't. So any of you that are maybe um, 
new to financial coaching or haven't worked with a lot of clients with variable income, you can use a couple of different bank accounts to make it feel as though someone is still getting a consistent paycheck, even though they might get paid once every three months, right? If all of their money goes into one bank account, that is their deposit account or revenue account or flow through account, I hear different business owners and we use different words sometimes to describe it, but all revenue or income goes into one main checking account. And from that account, it is sort of parceled out into their main checking account on a consistent basis. So let's say they need $2,000 every two weeks. They can simply set up an automatic transfer or they can do a manual transfer every two weeks for that dollar amount from the deposit account or the revenue or income account into their main checking account where all the bills are being paid. So they can much more clearly see exactly how many months worth of income do they have in that deposit account. They know exactly how much is coming into their regular account to pay all of their bills on a consistent basis. And it takes so much of that emotional roller coaster out of the equation when they do it that way. And that's one of the benefits of working with a financial coach is that we can help them to see all of those moving pieces and to figure out what cadence or frequency of transfer should they be making? What dollar amount exactly should they be making? How much do they need to keep in that deposit account to give them the security that they're seeking? All of those things are huge benefits that you wanna be communicating to an artist, a freelancer, anyone that has a highly variable income, that one of the things or one of the problems that you can solve is that even though their income is highly variable, it does not have to feel that way. And we actually have the solution and the answer to that. And we're going to find that and work through that with them through our coaching together. All right. The other thing that I think is important to drive home to them is that once they can more clearly see their money, right? They can see all of their expenses very clearly. They know what it truly costs them to uh, continue in their business and their craft, whatever that is. If they're an artist, they likely have expenses associated with that. You can help them plan for it. Um, but once they more clearly see all of the ins and outs of their money, how much money they truly need to be making to survive, to pay their bills, to have the lifestyle that they want, they can actually more easily see the gaps in their pricing models, right? So they can see, oh my gosh, I no wonder I always feel broke. I can very clearly see now that I'm undercharging for what I deliver. I can very clearly see that I need to offer something else that's going to help sort of subsidize my income because obviously I feel like I feel right now because I can clearly see at this moment where that gap is, how much I really need to make to close the gap. And they can actually have so much more confidence in adjusting their pricing models or uh, making those changes once they have that clarity, which is impossible to do if you can't clearly see it. I know that I think 100% of the clients that I've worked with who are business owners, who have fluctuating incomes, once they clearly see exactly where they're at with how much their revenue is actually covering as far as their expenses, how it's impacting their lifestyle and what they want out of life, 100% of them have increased their revenue within a matter of months to cover the gap. Like really, really, truly, they all can clearly see it and they all can make the adjustments and put things in place, obviously through conversations together as we're working together, that's helping them with that. But they now can see exactly what they have to do, the dollar amount that they need to sort of cover to make things feel better. And now they can actually take proactive action to make that happen. So. My thought was, you know, are you speaking to them as if they're starving artists, right? Like starving artists, you know, I'm calling you out. Like I can help you feel better about things. You need to get on a budget. Like, is it all about speaking to them as if they need to like have awareness in order to rein things in because they are starving artists or, or are you speaking to them as if they're professionals in their field who know they can be doing better and have more to show for it, they simply don't know how, because you have those answers, right? And so I think that you want to be sort of speaking to the certainties that you know to be true, right? What do you know to be true about a freelancer or an artist 
that maybe things will like never change unless X, Y, or Z, right? So I have a couple of ideas that I wrote down, so I thought I would share those to you, but these are some certainties that you know to be true. Um, and one of them is that you will never feel better about your money until you can stop reacting to it. Okay, so that is something that you could just call out. You are never going to feel better about it until you stop reacting. And the only way to stop reacting is through having this plan, through having a system which I, as your financial coach, can help you create, right? So you will never feel better about your money until you can stop reacting. That is something that I think all of us as financial coaches can probably agree with, right? Another one that I thought was relevant was you will never feel like you're making enough until you can clearly see all of the moving pieces and you truly know how much you actually need, right? Until you really can see a concrete number that you know this is how much I really have to make to cover my bills, to feed my family, to be able to go on vacation from time to time, like what, to run my business. Until you have a dollar amount, it never feels as if you're making enough. You need that clarity. You need something that feels concrete and grounded and clear that you can be striving towards or working towards. Until you know that number though, you will never feel like you're making enough. So that is another value of a financial coach for a freelancer or artist that you can help them create that, give them that clarity that they need so that they know exactly how much do I actually need to make. They don't have to question it constantly. Another certainty that I think you probably know to be true is that raising your prices, adjusting your niche or target audience, like changing your offerings, it is always going to feel really hazy or unclear until you have that clarity of how much you actually need. And so it can cause all of this questioning around like, Am I charging too much? Am I not charging enough? I feel like an imposter by trying to increase my prices. But once they can start to see how much they actually need to survive, to pay their bills, to have the life that they want, they can continue then doing the thing that they love, having the business that they want, pursuing their passion. Once they have clarity around that number, they no longer feel like an imposter when they say, this is what I charge, because they know in a very certain and grounded way that that is what they have to make in order to stay in business. And there is so much confidence that comes to a person that can feel so grounded and say, that's what I charge. And they don't waver in it because they're not questioning, am I just being greedy? Am I charging too much? Is this unrealistic? Like once they know this is what I need to charge to stay in business, to continue doing this thing that I love so much, I have to stay grounded in this. And they are so much more confident in doing so once they can clearly see that. Another certainty that I see and that I think you know, we will see with a lot of business owners is that until they have that clarity around their money, around knowing exactly how much they need, around knowing exactly how much they're currently earning or that their pricing model is correct, until they know with confidence that they're in, a right, in the right place with that, that they know their numbers, they know what they need to target or hit, they know how long their money will last, they will continue to question themselves. They will continue to go on this like mental downward spiral of doubt, um, wondering if they should continue doing what they're doing. They'll be questioning, am I actually doing the right thing? They'll question, should I go and get a real job? Is this stupid of me to think that I could actually make a living being an artist or freelancer, that I can do my own thing? Will I always struggle because of the profession that I've chosen? That self-doubt can be so heavy. It can be so hard to carry. Again, these are creatives and carrying that heaviness and that doubt and that constant questioning stifles their creativity. It actually is limiting them and their productivity and how much they're putting out. So once they gain that clarity and have more certainty around that and feel much more grounded, they actually find that 
wow, what I'm putting out into the world is better and I'm creating more and I'm not having as many blocks and I'm not feeling like I have to force myself to do this. It's coming much more naturally because they're not carrying that burden and all of that stress with them. So it actually elevates them in a whole nother way also because they're creating more, much more easily. So it makes it like a double gift to them that they can increase their prices, earn more money that way, feel much better better about knowing that all their bills are being covered. And because they've done that, they now are creating even more and giving even more to the world and then seeing even more revenue or income coming in that way. So it's like you eliminate the stress that they're feeling and show them this level of peace of mind and confidence. And that elevates their business to yet another level. So these are all the reasons that I think that what you're doing is so amazing that the world probably needs more financial coaches who target this specific niche, right? Because they really, really need it and it benefits them so much. And I just think that these are some of the ways that maybe you can be speaking to them the points that you can be driving home to them that while you're having your Q and a calls, or I think you had mentioned too, that you do have had like a couple of one off sort of sessions that these are all things that do not change overnight, but it is something that you work through with them over a period of time to help them gain that confidence, adjust their pricing model, look at what they truly need, get the systems in place to alleviate the feelings of so much variability and fluctuation. And if they don't truly see that like all of that is what's going to be solved in their world, then I can see that they would be very hesitant to say like, I can throw thousands of dollars at coaching right now, but I'm broke. Right. So they have to know that by throwing thousands of dollars towards coaching, it actually is going to put thousands more in their pocket year after year after year after year for the rest of their lives. And it's going to keep them in the profession that they want to be doing. It's going to allow them to continue to create, continue to be artists, freelancers, working for themselves because they're not going to get burnt out. They're not going to find themselves broke. They're not going to feel so stressed. They're not gonna feel pressure from their family that they need to go get like a real job. So it is actually solving so much for them through financial coaching, it is actually why it is so, so important for someone in this profession that they have someone like you in their corner. So I hope that this gives you maybe a little bit to sort of ponder, think about, maybe incorporate into some of your marketing or some of the ways that you're communicating with clients as you're speaking to them. I would love to hear your thoughts, Ryan, if this was helpful for you um, or for anyone else that has clients with a really highly variable income, fluctuating income, if this is helpful for you as well. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.